Understanding Pump Installation, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the meaning of the phrase pump installation. This is a common term used in various fields, including engineering, plumbing, and general maintenance. Understanding this phrase will not only expand your vocabulary but also give you insight into a practical aspect of the English language. Before we dive into the phrase, pump installation, it's crucial to understand what a pump is. A pump is a device that moves fluids, liquids or gases, or sometimes slurries, by mechanical action. Pumps can be classified into three major groups according to the method they use to move the fluid. Direct lift, displacement, and gravity pumps. Now, let's talk about the word, installation. Installation refers to the act of setting something up or making it ready for use. It involves putting together various parts or components. In general, installation is a process that requires skill and knowledge about the item being installed. Combining our understanding of pump and installation, the phrase pump installation refers to the process of setting up a pump so that it is ready for use. This includes tasks like assembling the pump parts, connecting it to the necessary pipes or hoses, and ensuring it is properly configured to function as intended. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at some examples of pump installation. 1. Installing a water pump in a residential building to ensure water supply to all floors. 2. Setting up a fuel pump at a gas station to dispense gasoline. 3. Assembling and installing an air pump in an aquarium to provide oxygen for the fish. Let's recap some of the key terms we've learned. Pump. A device for moving fluid. Installation. The process of setting something up. Direct lift. Displacement. Gravity pumps. Types of pumps. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning of pump installation and enriched your English vocabulary. Remember, learning a language involves understanding both the words and how they are used in real life contexts. Keep practicing and you'll continue to improve. See you in the next video.